Hello all, it's the Civ Art here, here with another Civ Modeler update video. So this time it's a rather large update slash change. Um, the, the, the thing is, is that I had it on Steam, as some of you may know. And that was working along nicely until Game Maker Studio updated, and now you can't put DLLs on Steam, which is quite a disappointment in my opinion. They say they may eventually add whitelisted DLLs, which would be really nice, but as for right now, just no DLLs, which means that I've had to move Game Maker um, games off of Steam, including Civ Modeler. So, Civ Modeler is now a desktop application, which was probably going to happen anyway, just because some people don't like using Game Maker Studio and Steam. They just they just don't like Game Maker Seven, Game Maker Six, Game Maker Eight, even. So. Yeah, so now it's a desktop app, so you can download it and install it from the description below. Uh, there's a link down there, so you can still get Civ Modeler. And I built in an auto updating system, and it should hopefully uh, work and stay usable for a long time. So here we go. Here it is. So as before, you can still select, you know, move, rotate. Well, you can rotate using the command line anyway. But now these buttons over here, because it's a desktop version now, like the new sphere, that works now. I can I can create these shapes, which is pretty awesome. Box, you know, all the good stuff. And then using these two buttons here, I can stretch. And I can stretch these things all around, which is pretty nice that I can I can do that. Undo redo. So yeah, that's all cool. Now there's this new button here, send message. So what's nice is is that using this, you can actually send a message to me directly. So, hello. I'll just send that. And then that'll send a message directly to me as long as you're online, which is really cool. <laughs> because then you don't have to, you know, go try to find a best possible method of contacting me. You can just do it from within the program, so if you encounter a bug or something, you can just send it directly there. Um, I've labeled all these buttons, so hopefully the, the, the idea is is that you should have to have like a tutorial on how to use the program. It should be pretty self-explanatory. All these buttons do have labels, so that's, that's pretty nice. Um, now for the export, I actually have some really cool stuff. I, so far you can import as an OBJ model or a D3D model or an MOD model. But the export now is really cool. You can export to all those things, but you can also export to GML. Now I added this a while back um, in a previous version of Civ Modeler. It ended up, it ended up getting, getting removed and not working and whatever. But anyway, now it's finally working again. And it's working really well, so you just have to hit the export and then name it as whatever but then if you if you scroll down here you can choose GML so what's really cool about this is that you just export it as GML you go into your game maker game and then you hit the import scripts button now when you do that then you can just find this file the GML file and it'll import two scripts and whatever you name it here will decide what those two scripts will be called right so then you just call one of them in the creation event, it'll just say create, and then another one in the draw event, right? So it'll be SCR create, whatever you name it, and then SCR draw, whatever you name it. So, and then that'll, that'll be all awesome. <laughs> so that will um, allow you to then draw your model really quickly, really easily inside of your game maker game without having to have any external files, which is really nice. So, yeah, that's that's just kind of a cool added bonus that you can do. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it's it's quite handy. Anyway, um, yeah. So, feel free to check out the the new updates and send me lots of bug reports if possible. Um, the auto updater is not quite as nice as the Steam version would be, right? Um, what will happen is is that when there's an update, it'll open up, it'll try to download Civ Modeler in the nearest browser, like your, your default browser, and then it'll just close up the game. So then you just have to download it, reinstall it, quick process, and then you can open it right back up again. And it'll be the new update. So it's not quite as nice as I would like, but it's 
shall we say, close to foolproof, which is which is really handy because my past versions involved like another executable that would launch, check for updates from a 39 DLL server, and then attempt to download it, and yeah, it was just bad. So this should hopefully be foolproof. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoy Civ Modeler. And